tell you today that he's willing to make it right for you. Amen. He's already done it at the cross, and all you have to do is accept him. And he can put it all together. You can be signed up today for eternal life. You don't have to wait. I would do it right now. Tomorrow is not promised. Jesus could return before this day is over. The question is, will you be prepared? Is your heart with him? Do you have salvation? Have you accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior? Have you surrendered totally to him? Aside from any and every other thing, is he the most important thing in your life? I can tell you personally, he's the most important thing to me. God's done a lot of things in my life, but salvation is the greatest thing I've ever received. Man. And I can tell you that he's given me everything that I need, including salvation for eternity. Yes. And he can do the same for you. Everything was at the cross. Your sins can be forgiven today. No matter what you've done, just bring it to him. He knew you were going to do it before you got started. And that's why the opportunity to receive cleansing, to receive blood coverage, right now. When he comes back, it'll be too late. You can do it right this moment. So if you're listening wherever you are, I want to urge you to make a decision today to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Admit that you're tired of doing it your way. You tried all kinds of things, but you want to do it God's way now. And that's the one way, the true way, the only way. And that's through his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus made it clear, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nothing else, nobody else, can make good on that claim and that good on that absolute truth except the Lord Jesus Christ by his finished work on the cross, which he did at Calvary. His all-sufficient death at Calvary. That's all that's needed. And all you have to do is accept what he's done for you today, personally for you. All you have to do is receive it. And believe in that gives you everything that's needed to have eternal life and participate in his kingdom will you do it today will there be one and father we do thank you for the things you've done for us father i pray that souls would give their lives to you yes i pray lord that you would take charge of their heart I pray that your Holy Spirit will come into their life right now upon their confession. Admitting that they're sinners in need of a Savior. And that Jesus Christ is loving and willing enough to take all their sins. Justify them before the Father. Lord, I thank you for their life right now. Remove anything that would stop them from making that choice. From making Jesus a choice. Pray, Lord, that they will surrender to you right now. Remove the guilt and the shame of the past. Amen. Meet them from right where they are, Lord. Pick them up. Make things right like I know you can. Search their heart. Touch their heart right now, Lord, and be everything that you need them to be. Amen. Remove any idol out of their life, Lord, or any deep, dark dependency in their life. I pray, Lord, that you would take preeminence over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, for this, I thank you. And Lord, I thank you, Father, for everything that you're going to do. And we anticipate the Lord Jesus Christ return. Amen. And Lord, we want to be ready right now. Help us, Lord, to walk in love continually. Help us to remove bitterness or division or unforgiveness. And help us, Lord, to put our trust totally, absolutely in you. And Lord, for that, we thank you. So we may be counted worthy to go with you. For it's in the mighty and the precious name of Jesus Christ I pray. Our soul says, Amen. 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 Let's go to the Lord and be dismissed. Now may the God of all comfort and grace establish your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, both now and forevermore, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let the church
talk to y'all Thursday. Amen. And Tuesday. Bible study Tuesday night. 